Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will be um, discussing about a uh, Magella Symphony breast pump that I have used for past one year. Um, so I will, I'm going to talk about the pump itself and I will talk about how the pump works. I will talk about some pros and cons and finally I will talk about how, what questions that you can ask before you rent or buy. So first of all, so this is how the pump looks. Um, and it comes in a big box. It's kind of sturdy and just very protective. Um, so these pumps, this pump cost um, about fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars. So most likely you won't be buying. I mean, if you would buy, I mean that's great. But most of the moms will rent. So in the hospital, um, it can also be. Uh, rented through Babies R Us or some other stores, but most of the time the hospital that you are in are the closest hospital that you are um, uh, located uh, depending on your area. So when you rent the pump, it can range from $60 to $80. I am renting uh, $60 per month and um, so when you rent, the hospital gives you this box, this big box and the pump only. So you will need to purchase your kit that has your tubings and your valves and a um, set of other things. Um, so that's for you to keep and for you to um, just have it. But when you return it, you only return the pump and the box. So, so now I'm going to talk about how to use it. So when you bring the pump, you will put in your um, these valves look like this. So you put in these valves right here on the top so it looks like this and um, you close it pretty tight and the tubes go along this way and the tubes you will connect on the bottle so every Medela is pretty similar um, so you connect right here and the other one like that so once you're connected and you'll put it in your um, breast so you will um, click on this dial. So there's only three things in here. There's a dial, and there is a um, turn on and off, and there is this button does a massaging motion and then let down motion. So uh, first it will massage and then they will like suction it. So once you you turn on turn on, and so I wouldn't recommend doing high because this pump is really strong. So you want to do it like maybe three dots there's like a dot black dots that will show you and then once you get used to then you start so every um every suction motion every um like massaging motion is two minutes and then so it will automatically switch to suction motion so you can do it before when you're ready um before two minutes but um if you just want to follow and massage your breast while pumping then um then you don't have to so um now I'm going to go over why I like this. So number one reason I like it is because this pump is really strong. Um, this pump is, um, it mimics, it, they say it mimics the baby's uh, shucking motion. 98% um, I, I agree because I've used a lot of other pumps and I still have it and I use it depending on where I am and what I'm doing and what's convenient for me. Um, so I do agree that it does take out a lot of milk than any other pump that I've used so far. So, um, and number two is this pump is like some other pumps that, that um, you might have encountered. They're called open system. So this is closed. So we need, that means you are um, not, you don't need to be worried about any mold or a fungus um, due to moisture formation in the tubing. So, um, so that was um, a good, for me and and number three is because um, is this um it built my milk stash and while I used it and I um, I think this breast pump was so much encouraging for me sometime when I had like uh, the milk ducts formed um, the when your breast gets very hard when your baby doesn't take out all of it and at the time when you massage it, it does take time but when I massaged it and I just worked my way around it in this breast pump was the one that removed all my milk so I give so much credit for building my stash of milk and also uh, emptying my breast so much uh, 
some of the disadvantages of this bump. Of course, it's so heavy like this, so you won't be carrying around anywhere. You might want to make a station at your house or your bathroom, and then you would be pumping there most of the time. Um, so it's pretty heavy. <laughs> and then number two, it's pretty expensive. You know, I mean, sixty dollar per month is a lot. So you know, you might you have to make a decision on you know what's important for you. So I. Um, um, I thought it was it was expensive, so but I still wanted to do it. So, um, so but I'm thankful that I made that decision. And number three, um, it it needs to be plugged in all the time. These are um, you might have a pump that you can charge and you can pump anywhere, like Medela Freestyle. Um, the one I have is you can pump anywhere, but this one it needs to be plugged all the time. So this pump, and um, so now I'm going to talk about what question you can potentially ask when you are renting or buying so how old is the pump because I've heard moms who had really bad ex experience with this one because it was just not strong it was just not working well and that is possibility depending on how old the pump is how many times people have used it and how they used it and how they handled it it's you know you won't know people who is giving you for rent might not be breast pumping so they might not be expert on it so you want to ask that question and um, number two you could possibly ask on average how often this pump has gone on rent and on average how many months have been used there might not be a specific answer but you know you could they could guesstimate it so and you might also want to ask um, number three you might also want to ask is there a way, like if it doesn't work for me, is there a way you can refund me or give me another one? Because a mom that I uh, know from a mom group, she had a really bad experience and they could not even re refund her money. And just a mom who is planning to breastfeed or also, you know, your baby doesn't take your um, breast and you want to continue doing it, I think this is a really good pump to invest on because um, it's, just, it's just good. It's just, uh, it's just the strongest um, so much more stronger than other pump out there in the market. Um, I'm not saying they're bad, but definitely hospital grade pumps are really strong and they do things that they claim. So yeah, um, I'm gonna put the link below from where I rented, but you might wanna look for the area wherever you are um, um, closely located. So yeah, other than that, I am really thankful that you, uh, you watched my video, but other than that, I am um, gonna see you in the next video.